What's going on guys? Today we're going to be taking a look at the Chapman ML3 Semi Hollow Traditional Honey Burst. Let's go check it out. So to start off, the reason I got this guitar was because I have the black version which has the, it's like the Pro Modern series which has their Chapman humbuckers in it. This one has the Chapman P90s in it. So I'm going to tell a little story if you guys don't want to listen. You guys can go ahead and skip ahead into the playing demo and all that. But the reason I got this guitar is because after playing the black one, I absolutely fell in love with Chapman. The neck on this is perfect, these frets on it are perfect, and the price range is perfect for just about anybody who's looking for a pro touring, gigging, ba bathroom, uh, studio guitar. It stays in tune absolutely perfectly. I have had no troubles at all with this guitar. The reason I bought this guitar is because the QC. The QC is absolutely phenomenal. I have never seen something better. I've played a lot of guitars. I've been playing for about seven years, and I do. I've been to NAM. I went to NAM this year. Um, I actually went with a small company called Music Light. And sadly, Chapman wasn't there. But I played a lot of guitars, and nothing compared to the Chapmans. Just nothing. So I went to my local guitar center, and I had this guitar for a long time. They had this when I went and bought my black one. And I traded in two guitars for this, and I have not looked back. <laughs> I'm not a huge fan of the P90s, but after playing them, it, it opened up a lot of new things that I can play, you know, some blues, some jazz, funky stuff, you know, it's just something new that I can do. And I think everybody should have that option, and I think between these two guitars, it does a great job. So let's go check out some sounds, and I hope you guys enjoy. Alrighty guys, to start off, we're going to start with the specs, and this thing's pretty specced out for about a thousand dollar instrument. And I know $1,000 sounds like a lot, but when you hear the specs on this, I think you're going to be pretty interested. So, just like the old one, we have a roasted maple neck. And for those of you that don't know what roasted maple neck means, it means it's a maple neck that is put in like a kiln and fired until all the moisture is out of the neck. Basically, it leaves it like a rock. It will not move whatsoever. So that means that your intonation will stay perfectly good, your neck, you don't have to worry about bowing. Next thing we have are the chat marks, so they're not Chapman, they are... Uh, hip shot locking tuners and these are absolutely perfect for keeping your guitar in tune. They also have rolling string bridges which is really nice. Stainless steel frets, absolute must for all guitars I think. You have the Chapman P90s, a three-way toggle switch and cool Chapman milled brass uh, saddles. These add a lot to their guitars. If I had the chance to like make my own guitar I would have brass saddles all day. This thing resonates unbelievably, it's incredible. I recommend anybody who's looking at any guitar to look for some brass somewhere. Brass is a very resonant metal and it adds a lot to a guitar. But for the sound test, we're going to do a three-way sound test because it's a three-way switch. So you have one, two, three. So in this case, it's going to be bridge, double, uh, neck. In my uh, own opinion, I love the neck on a clean sound and then I really like the bridge on a more uh, kind of dirty sound, like bluesy kind of dirt in a way, but let's go ahead and start checking out the uh, sounds. Alright guys, for the first sound test we are going to be playing a clean little chordy thing and then we're going to also be playing through an EBH 5153 through the Hughes and Kettner which has V30s in it through and then a TC electronic flashback in the effects loop. We're going to go bridge, dual, neck, and so let's get started. channel is it's absolutely perfect if you've ever played through p90s um, you'll know that they're like a single coil but they're like overwound so they're extra hot so it's not quite a humbucker and it's not quite a single coil it's just like a single coil that has a lot more copper around wrapped around it. it it has like a little bit of a bite to it yet it stays clean like if I I'll just show you guys like a power chord you can hear that it starts to break up just a little bit <laughs> I 
just think that's absolutely you know perfect. It's it's it's, it's essential for a, a certain pickup to have that. You know, and I really enjoy it. So let's go ahead and move on to a crunchier, dirtier channel. Alrighty guys, so in this test we're going to be playing on the blue channel of the EVH 5150. We're going to do the same thing, we're going to do a bridge middle uh, neck. And then after that I'm going to do like a little freestyle, just play around so you guys can get a better idea. Sorry the sound isn't absolutely amazing, you know, this is just me having a good time and I hope you guys enjoy. So, let's get to it. There'll be a little fuzz, sorry for not having a noise gate yet. But... <laughs> Now, I'll just do like a little kind of freestyle thing so you guys can get an idea of what the bridge sounds like. I like the bridge kind of for like a little solo -y lead thing, it just it has a lot of punch to it, so uh, let's start out. <laughs> probably go ahead and uh, check out the uh, dirty channel because this guitar can do dirty. <laughs> Alrighty guys, so I'll keep this part kind of short, simple, and sweet. This guitar can do metal. It, there was a can pre-90s do metal, can tellies do metal. This guitar, guitar can do metal. It's a little poppy because they're single coils slash P90s, so there's a little pop to them, but they rock. I mean, that, that's what really sold me when I uh, went to buy this thing. So I'll be playing on the red channel. Gained about half um, lows, about half mids, about half highs, around six or seven presents at half. So, if you guys are just interested in the sounds, uh, just gonna be me messing around, just a little riffage, uh, try to keep it short. <laughs>
channel, so I, it's not even a channel really. I don't have any following, but hell, it's fun to make. But you know, I hope you guys enjoy. I hope you don't guys. I hope you guys don't mind some stupid kid making just dumb videos. But hope you guys enjoy, and I'll give you guys my final uh, view on the guitar in just a second. So, my uh, final view on this guitar is going to be a little cheesy and it's going to be a little repetitive, probably. I'm a very personable guy and I, you know, as a growing channel with no following, it's fun to uh, just kind of talk and I guess that's that vlog aspect of things. I'm a big talker also, you know, I, I love talking to people and if you guys put stuff in the comments, I'll respond in probably about 30 minutes, so feel free to ask questions. But this guitar <laughs> absolutely rocks. I, I sold two of my Schecters. I'm a big Schecter guy, huge Schecter guy. I've got one there, I've got one there. I used to have two more. Um, I sh you should, guys should see a, another video coming up eventually for one of my Schecters that I got rid of, but <clears throat> I'm a huge Schecter guy and I love them. After picking these up, I, I don't want to go back. I want more of these guitars. I, I will give any amount of money for this neck. This neck is, it, it's, it is so smooth. It is just perfect. The QC, I mean, between picking up this guitar and that guitar, it's like between the pickups, you couldn't tell which one you were playing. I mean, there's, there's, there's no difference. It, it, there's just nothing. I absolutely love the P90s, and I think they're incredible and incredibly fun. I've never played with P90s, and it's just like that, that funky feel, that pop, you know, to them is awesome. The brass saddles is just incredible. It's three-way, it's super simple. The, the placement of the knob is great. The flame on this is just unbelievable. I mean, it is tight right here, it's a little loose right here, it has a ton of play, I mean, I don't know if you can actually catch that, but it is incredible. In a lot of the pictures, it looks almost orange, it's really not, it, it's like a, like right here, it's almost like a tobacco and then like a yellow, so I guess it suits that honey burst, but it almost, like in the pictures, it looks like an orange burst, like almost like a sun burst, but a lot less red. It looks brown, almost, in person, and it looks amazing on people, like I've had a lot of my friends play this and they love it. And it looks good on them. I like it looks good on anybody. But if you're also wondering about the other specs, it's a roasted maple neck. It's a mahogany body with a maple veneer, I believe. That or it's a cap, but I think it's a veneer. I don't know. It might be a veneer on top of a maple cap, but I actually don't know the answer to that one. <laughs> it's a roasted uh, neck, uh, fretboard also with the stainless steel frets. But also the really cool thing, it has the uh, glow-in-the-dark uh, inlays on there. I think anybody should go out and buy this guitar. If you like P90s and you like a Tele, this is your guitar. And just, it's freaking awesome. So I hope you guys enjoyed, and um, feel free to leave any questions, comments uh, in the description, you know, or not, <laughs> in the comments box, and I'll be happy to answer. Have a great one, guys.